So this summer, we are going to be doing the Psalms of Ascent uh, as our summer series. And what I get excited about with the Psalms of Ascent is Dan has always taught us to love the Psalms. And so it's going to be a real privilege to do this together. And Dan, just a question to start. Why do you think the Psalms of Ascent are particularly important for us in our congregation? The Psalms of Ascent are Psalm 120 to 134. They were probably psalms that were prayed, sung, on the journey that the faithful would take three times a year up to Jerusalem, to the great festivals as they went up to worship God. And so Jesus and his disciples would have known them, memorized them, um, would have sang them, prayed them as they went on their way to Jerusalem. You know, we don't literally go up to Jerusalem to worship the Lord, but our posture is always that we're longing for the presence of the Lord in our lives, in our community, in worship. These psalms are the, the journey of our heart, the journey of our heart to God's presence. And they, they talk about the threats from outside and the threats from within that can take us away from the presence of God. They're also psalms that help us uh, live faithfully in a hostile world. They start out in Psalm 120 with, you know, the world is swarming with lies. And so how do I live in a world swarming with lies? That's just where we're at today. They're not only helpful in terms of my walk with God, but they're critical to understand in terms of the culture and world that we live in right now. Julie, can you tell us about when you think about the Psalm of Ascent, what, what Psalm of Ascent has been like specifically meaningful to you? I had a season in my life where our, our one daughter was, was very sick with an undiagnosed heart condition. And it was just a season where it was the darkest season of my life. The nights were particularly hard because I had a toddler. So during the day I had to be on and then at night I had this screaming baby. I remember being in this dark room with her night after night trying to rock her to sleep and and the nights went on and on and on and I, I felt so alone and one night in particular I I just kind of broke down and and was crying and I you know it's, it's, maybe I'm the only one but sometimes I say these crazy things in my head to God or to anyone who's listening to myself and I just remember saying I'm the only one who's still awake right now when nobody sees me and I heard the words of the Lord from Psalm 121, and he said, I do not slumber or sleep. The Lord who watches over Israel does not slumber and sleep. I felt him say, I see you, and, and I'm with you in the day, and I'm with you in the night. And it didn't change my circumstance, but it, it, um, it was the word that I have gone back to many times to say, the Lord was so present for me in that time. There's psalms for on the way. And so learning these psalms, the Lord can just give you a quick word for the time that you need for whatever you're experiencing in your journey. I think how the Lord has spoke, spoke to you about that. It was a psalm for on the way for us as a family that the Lord is in this uh, with us. Denise, what, when you think about the Psalms of Ascent and think about uh, what you would hope that our congregation would uh, glean from this and be formed by these psalms, what, what would you hope for? I was thinking about the Psalms of Ascent and thinking about the one time that I've been to Israel, especially when I was in Jerusalem. Anytime we were walking in Jerusalem, we were going up a hill. There's no flat space. And so when I read these psalms, I can see that that journey up to his presence. And, and you read through these psalms and, and they cover lots of different things. They talk about some things that are hard, some things that are joyful, it talks about weeping. And so I think about these travelers singing these and they're on the way up the mountain and sometimes the journey is probably difficult because you're always on a hill when you're in Israel. And yet I remember they sang these on the way to celebrate. Like they were going to festivals where they were going to celebrate and remember the things that God had done. And so when I think about our journey, we're on the way to, to celebrate our God. And we'll find all kinds of things on the journey, some joyful, some difficult, and yet we can still go out with singing. This is a journey, we have purpose, we have a place we're going. We can get lost in life, right? With all of our distractions and our busyness and our issues and money and whatever it might be, we can sometimes feel like we're just floating along. And yet these Psalms show us we're, we have a destination, we have a goal and the Lord goes with us and, and watches over us. I love that idea. Jesus is our destination. He's our goal. He's our everything. You know, it's not just what we get out of him, it's him. That's where we're heading. And so these Psalms, I think, posture us well to face him and move toward him and be ready to meet him. You know, 
wish me the best day of my life.